Hey guys, today we're going to talk about solving systems of equations using elimination. Um, this is the third method. We've done graphing and we've done substitution and now this is the last and uh, the third and final method um, and we are on page nine. So the first thing we want to make sure when we're using elimination is that they're lined up, okay? Um, standard form is ideal with the X and the Y on the same side and the constant on the other side, okay? Um, here's an example, making sure the X's, the Y's, the equal signs and the constants are lined up, okay? Number two, it says look for opposite coefficients like positive 3X and negative 3X. That will eliminate one variable. If you can't find some, make some by multiplying, okay? So here, if you're looking at this, positive 2x and positive 2x, those would eliminate if one was negative, okay? Um, we are going to eliminate one variable and solve for the other, and then use a new value that you just found um, to find the other value. So we are going to then substitute in, okay? So let's look at the first example, okay? So right here, the first step was line up the terms in standard form. The X's are lined up, the Y's are lined up, and the equal signs are lined up. So that's great. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that we have a variable um, with a coefficient that matches. So if you look here, the X's aren't the same, but if you look at the Y's, they are the same. So the goal would be to have the same absolute value or like the same number here with opposite signs, okay? because when they're the same value with opposite signs, 5y and negative 5y, when you add them, they are going to cancel out, okay? It's called elimination because we want something to be eliminated or canceled. So straight down, we are going to add our x's, add our y's, and add our constants together. Okay, 2x plus 3x is 5x, 5y plus negative 5y, is zero we're going to cross them out they go away negative 24 plus 14 is negative 10. so our equation turns from all of this to a straight up one step equation so now we have 5x equals negative 10. we are going to solve for x okay we do that by dividing by 5 on both sides and we get x equals negative 2. Okay, this is just part of our solution. Remember our solutions for systems is gonna be a point, okay? So we know that our first number in our system is negative two. Remember X always goes first, X comma Y. So we are missing our Y value now. So to go find the Y value, we take this X value and we're gonna pick one of these equations to plug it back in for. It doesn't matter which one you use, you're gonna get the same solution, okay? Um, I'm just gonna use the top equation. So we have two X plus five Y equals negative 24. Okay, we are going to plug in X equals negative two. So we have two times negative two plus five Y equals negative 24. So all I did here was plug in negative two for X. This gives us negative four plus five Y equals negative 24. Okay, I'm running out of room. I'm gonna continue on down here. So to get rid of the negative four, we're gonna add four to both sides. So that gives us 5y equals negative 20. When we add 4 to negative 24, I'm bringing it down here. Okay. Okay, and then to solve for y, we're going to divide both sides by 5, and y equals negative 4. Here is our solution. We can actually check our answers here by plugging both X and Y into both equations. And I'm just gonna show you how to check the work for this one, okay? Just so you know that you can. So to check my work here, I have X equals negative two and Y equals negative four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in negative two and negative four for X and Y. 
So that would give us two times x, which was negative two, plus five times y, which was negative four. And I'm just using this, right? Two times x plus five times y equals negative 24. And I'm gonna check it, okay? I'm also going to plug it in for the second equation, three times x plus, I'm sorry, minus five times y equals 14. Okay, you can either type this in your calculator or you can do it by hand. Two times negative two is negative four. And five times negative four is negative 20. When you add them, it gets negative 24. So this one's right. Check this one down here. So as long as the X and Y work for both, that means you did it right. So three times negative two is negative six. Five times negative four is negative 20, but you're subtracting, so it's actually plus 20, which gives us positive 14, okay? So all you have to do is plug your X and Y that you found into the original equation, and as long as they give you this constant as your solution, you did it right, okay? All right, looking at this guy right here. Okay, so to get rid of something, you should have the same number with opposite signs. So right here, when you check, X's are lined up, Y's are lined up, equals are lined up, okay? But the thing is, if you added these, yeah, if you added these, that would give me 4Y. I want to make sure that they're opposite signs. So if I want to make them opposite signs, I could just multiply the bottom by negative 1 and change that to a negative 2Y, okay? So I'm going to multiply everything by negative 1, which just flips the signs, okay? And I'm going to use this space over here. The reason I'm doing that is because I want this to be a negative 2y. So that way when I add, they, they uh, um, eliminate. So we have 3x plus 2y equals 5. All I did was write that equation up here. And I'm going to write this equation below it, but I'm just changing the signs. So we have negative x minus 2y equals positive 1. Okay. Now all I'm going to do is add straight down. I can add them because I have opposite signs with the same coefficient. That's just like a negative 1. 3 plus negative 1 is 2x. 2y minus 2y cancels equals 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay, we're going to divide both sides by 2 and we get x equals 3. That is only part of our solution. So we know it's going to be 3 comma something. Remember, x goes in the first plot and y goes in the second. Okay, to solve for y, all I'm going to do is take my x value and plug it into one of these. I'm actually going to use the bottom equation because the x doesn't have anything with it, and it's really up to you. I would just suggest using one of the original equations, okay? So I'm going to show you the bottom equation, x plus 2y equals negative 1. All I did was copy this equation down, and I'm going to plug in x equals, negative, x equals 3, okay? So now we have 3 plus 2y equals negative 1. To solve this, we're going to subtract 3 on both sides, and we get 2y equals negative 4. Divide by 2, and we get y equals negative 2. So here's my solution. I can then go back in, plug in 3 for x on both, plug in negative 2 for y on both, and I will get 5 and negative 1. Okay. Let's talk about that practice number one. And I'm actually going to work these out on a separate paper because I'm running out of room here. All right, guys, so let's talk about practice number one. So we have two equations in standard form. I'm going to just copy it down. I have negative 3x plus 4y equals 12, and I have 2x plus y equals negative 8. So the goal is to have the same coefficient, right, with opposite signs. The x's have opposite signs, but they're the same number. The y's 
don't have the same sign or the same number, and it's really up to you. You can make the X's match, okay? Or you can make the Y's match. So think about what would be the easiest way to make these two match, okay? I could multiply the top by two and the bottom by three to make both of these six, right? Or I could just multiply the bottom by four and they would match, right? But I want them to have opposite signs. So I want this to turn into a negative 4y, right? To make this a negative 4y, I'm going to multiply that by negative 4. So I'm going to multiply, the rule is I have to do the whole thing by negative 4 to make this a negative 4y, okay? So I'm going to distribute out that negative 4, okay? I'm not changing the top equation, so I'm going to keep that the same. Negative 3x plus 4y equals 12, okay? I just, I like to rewrite it so it's nice and neat. So negative 3x plus 4y equals 12. And then this one, when I, when I distribute, negative 4 times 2x is negative 8x. Negative 4 times y, negative 4y. And negative 4 times negative 8, positive 32. Okay? All right, now we have to make sure they're lined up. They have opposite signs with the same coefficient. So positive four and negative four. Okay, now we are going to add them straight down, okay? So negative three plus negative eight is negative 11 X, okay? positive 4 and negative 4 cancel and 32 plus 12 is 44 all right now just solving this by one step equation divide by negative 11 and we get x equals negative 4 okay so once we solve for x, we know our final solution is going to be negative 4 comma something. Yes? So now all I have to do is go back. I'm going to go back to one of my original equations, and I'm going to plug in negative 4 to whichever one I want to. Um, top or bottom, doesn't matter. I'm just going to use the top one here. I'm going to copy it down. Negative 3x plus 4y equals 12. And I'm going to plug in x equals negative 4. All I'm doing is I substituted in negative 4 for x because x is negative 4. And I'm going to simplify. Negative 3 and negative 4 make positive 12. Bring down your 4y and bring down your 12. Okay. Now, the next thing we would do is get rid of this 12. To get rid of it, we're going to subtract it. And this is where you have to be careful. Yes, this crosses out because you don't need to write 0 plus 4y. Bring down your 4y. If you cross this out, you would have nothing here, okay? So technically, yeah, it does cross out, but you need to put the placeholder of 0 here, okay? Divide by 4. This does not mean no solution. This means that the y is going to be 0, okay? 0 divided by 4 is 0. So our final solution is negative 4, 0, okay? So this one's here, negative 4, 0. Okay. And we're going to kind of go through a little bit of um, each one, okay? Uh, depending on what type of problem they are, we might need to be able to see it, okay? So we're not going to do, we're not going to do every single one, but we are going to look at um, the ones that are different from each other. So let's look at number two, okay? So number two, the X's are lined up, the Y's are lined up, the equal signs are lined up, and the constants are lined up. But the thing is, is we don't have the same um, coefficient with the same, with opposite signs, okay? We have two and five, and then we have three and negative two. So an option, if you're not really sure how you wanna go about it, you could just take the two, multiply it by the bottom, and then take the five and multiply it by the top. So really all you have to do is take these two signs and switch them. So you can multiply the top by five and the bottom by two. 
Okay, you wanna make sure that they're opposite signs. So you could go ahead and make it a negative two or a negative five, just make one negative, okay? So here, I'm gonna end up changing both equations, okay? So we have 2x plus 3y equals negative 1, and all I'm doing is copying them down. 5x minus 2y equals negative 12. I just don't have enough room on that paper to do it. Okay, so we said we are going to multiply the top by the bottom and the bottom by the top. Okay, so all you have to do is flip-flop these, put the 2 with the bottom, put the 5 with the top, but we want one of them to be negative. Okay, it doesn't matter which one, so I'm just going to make the top one negative. All right, so again, flip flop these, two on bottom, five on top, make one negative. So I'm gonna end up distributing, sorry about that. I'm gonna end up distributing on both of them, okay? So just the top one first. Okay, um, negative five times two X is negative 10 X. Negative five times three Y, negative 15 Y equals negative five times negative one is five. Okay, then the bottom one. Two times five X is 10 X. Two times negative two Y is negative four Y. And two times negative 12 is negative 24. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have opposite signs with the same coefficient, we are going to add straight down add straight down. Negative 10 and positive 10 are going to cancel. Negative 15 and negative 4 make negative 19y. And 5 and negative 24 make negative 19. Okay? Divide both sides by negative 19. And we get y equals positive 1. So our final answer, x comma y, we know we're going to have a 1 here. So I like to go ahead and put that there and circle it because I know that's part of my answer. So now to find the x value, I'm going to take this y equals 1, plug it into one of my original equations. I'm just going to go with the top because it doesn't matter which one I use. If y is 1, I'm going to have 2x plus 3 times 1 equals negative 1. Okay? 2x plus 3 equals negative 1. To solve this, get rid of the 3 by subtracting. 2x equals negative 4. Divide by 2. And we get x equals negative 2. To check this, I could go back to the original equations. Plug in negative 2 for x. Plug in 1 for y. And I would get negative 1. Plug in negative 2 for x. Plug in 1 for y. And I would get negative 12. Okay. So this was example number 2 negative two comma one.